Time she loved to skate. Whoa! Though not quite in a figure eight. Miss Clavel called, Come on in. The birthday fun will now begin. Come, mes enfants. It is time for Madeline's birthday party. <laughs> <laughs> this one is from all of you. It is very heavy. What could it be? <laughs> Open it. You will see. Oh, new ice skates. They're so beautiful. They are very fast. Just like the professional skaters use. Merci. I love them. I will try them out right now. But what about the cake, Madeline? I will have it later. Madeline left her cake for later, then hurried off to be a skater. Everyone who skates falls down. You have the courage and heart to be a great skater, young lady. <gasps> Moi? Indeed. What you need now are lessons. Many lessons. And practice. 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 <laughs> She, be? she is the great Sophie Dubois. Sophie once headed our national skating team. Now she runs a skating school. Wow, she said I could be great. Yoo-hoo, Madeline. It is time to go. 
go home. Oh, okay. Allons-y. Let's go. Now Madeline had a new ambition. She was a girl on a heartfelt mission. That night, the girls all broke their bread. We love our bread. We love our butter. But most of all, we love each other. And brushed their teeth and went to bed. She dreamt that she had won first prize. Oh, <laughs> Genevieve! <gasps> oh no, I am late! <laughs> As the clock struck half past nine, eleven little girls all stood in line. But where was tardy Madeline? That is what it takes. Madame Dubois, I was hoping you would be here. I would like to join your class. You may take the once a week class, or if you are really serious, the skating intensive. I would like the skating intensive, s'il vous plaît. That meets three hours each weekday and eight on Saturday. That is. <clears throat> 23 hours a week. To be a great skater, you must put in the time. Are you interested? Oui, Madame Dubois. Bien. On your feet, then. We have much to do. Whoa. <coughs> Again. And so her skating education. Whoa. Again. Started not with jubilation. She felt nothing but frustration. And just a bit of refrigeration. Good work, Madeline. It takes much practice to be great. We will continue tomorrow. Au revoir. Au revoir. The harder I practice, the sooner I will be as good as Madame Dubois. Whoa. Fatigued, she was still pirouetting as the winter sun was setting. Was dinner really worth forgetting? Au revoir, Madeline. Au revoir. <sighs> How did it get so late? When at the old house, Madeline blew in. The dinner was burnt. A disastrous ruin. Oh, no! I am so sorry. I lost track of time. You missed music practice, Madeline. It will not happen again. And what about my spelling list? The test is tomorrow. We will practice after dinner, Nicole. I promise. Oh, oh, oh. <sighs> Extreme. Extreme. Uh, E-X-T-R-E-E-M. <sighs> Danielle, 
Would you help me? Oui, oui. Certainly. So while Nicole respelled extreme... E-X-T-R-E-M-E. -E. <laughs> Madeline began to dream. <laughs> of practicing her tough regime. Something is not right. What is wrong? <laughs> it is a bunny! Oh! It is a bunny! Good for it! Help! <laughs> shush, 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 mes enfants! Calm yourselves! This is not a mummy. This is Madeline wound up in her bed sheets. Madeline, is that you? Please, help me, please! Ah! Wow. Merci! I dreamt I was spinning very fast on my ice skates and, well, I guess... <coughs> Little girls, I would like to speak to Madeline alone. I know how much these skating classes mean to you, but you must balance them with the rest of your life. I know, Miss Gravel, but if I ever want to be as good as Madame Dubois, I have to work very hard. An admirable aspiration, but you are trying to do too much too quickly. What about Genevieve? Will you have time to walk her? Your friends miss you, and your schoolwork is bound to suffer. Do not worry, Miss Gravel. I will make time in the day. I will make more time in the day. Yes, I will. I will make more time in the day. More seconds in the minute, more minutes in the hour. I will never take a break to smell another flower. I will make more time in the day. But if you start to fall behind... <gasps> I'm late for breakfast! So Madeline, now quite content, began her grand experiment, planning every moment spent. The second movement sounded fine, but much too slow for Madeline. She only cared about the time. Oh. Her 
Her life was ruled by the tower's chime. She rushed from here. She rushed from there, with not a moment left to spare. Hello, fight. <laughs> At five, her new day would begin, so she could glide and leap and spin. For her, life was a race to win. Ooh, or ah, with each new day. Why, even Sophie cried. Hooray! <laughs> but Madeline just saw the flaws. Smile, Madeline. This is the fun part. Be proud of yourself. But I can be even better still. I just need to stick to my schedule. Turned on the light. Something is not right. Quite afraid of a disaster, Miss Clavel ran fast and faster. <gasps> Help us, Miss Clavel. We cannot wake Madeline. Oh dear. <coughs> Madeline! <coughs> wake up, Madeline! shreds, and the girls got back into their beds. With Madeline now less obsessed, the girls all got a decent rest. And Genevieve was most impressed. 
From now on, I will take the once a week skating class. Of course, my dear. Skating should bring you joy and make you smile. Exactly. Exactement. Now, if you will excuse me, I have ignored my dear friend Genevieve. <laughs> Genevieve was full of wiggles. And Madeline had a fit of giggles. <laughs> her laugh had vanished for a while. But now the world could see her smile. Madeline, just like before, had time to play and to explore. That's what the childhood years are for. <laughs> and that's all there is. There isn't any more.